Setting up your district settings is a crucial step of the implementation process that ensures successful standards tracking, consistent grading guidelines, and login procedures. Let's take a look at district settings within a district admin account. We have made a video specifically for the district policies and added the link in the description below to make sure we can go over each of these options individually as it is crucial for you to understand how to set login procedures. At any time, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager to discuss the options that are best for you. So let's start with term. The term is setting an end date for the school year. Choosing an appropriate end date is important as this will determine when the classes and data should automatically archive. Please know you can access the data in your reports and looking at those archived classes. This process does not delete any data. To change the school year, simply click on the pencil here and then add the end date as needed. Interested standards will give you the control on what standards teachers use. While this will not affect classes that are already created, this will make sure your teachers choose the correct standards when searching for the questions and assessments. For classes already created, teachers can edit their classes to change the information based on your updates in this section. Show all standards to the users will allow teachers to search by other standards, like searching for Common Core instead of your state-specific standards. Include other standards opted by the users will simply add the standards here that the teachers have chosen for their classes and assessments. To add in your own standard sets, click on the Select Your Standard Set button here, search by subject or by name, click the box to the left of the standard set you wish to use, and confirm. As always, make sure to click the Save button if it's there. To remove a standard set, simply click the X to the left of the standard set you wish to remove, and again save. Now we are going to take a look at performance bands. Performance bands are going to determine how a student's success is determined on an assessment. You will want to set these performance bands to match your district-wide expectations. You will be able to create multiple profiles if there are certain grading guidelines for certain subjects, tests, or grade levels. Use the Create New Profile button to begin creating your first performance band profile. This will create our default performance bands in which you can edit to meet your needs. Simply click the edit button here to add bands, remove bands, change the threshold, mark if it is above or below standard, change the color over here by clicking on the drop down arrow next to the color, and clicking on the name to change the name. Once you've done that, make sure to click save so it saves your changes. If you wish to change these performance bands later, simply navigate to the profile you created earlier, either edit or clone the profile to make additional changes as needed. Standards proficiency is going to determine if a student is passing or not passing certain standards. Similar to performance bands, click create new profile, give the profile a name, and then hit the edit button to begin editing the different levels. You can change any of the default information simply by clicking the pencil to the right of the proficiency level you want to edit. These will be represented in your standards gradebook in a tabular view, so be sure to choose colors that are easy to determine what standards are the most successful or need the most improvement. Since the standards gradebook is a cumulative report, we added in the mastery calculation at the bottom here. This is where you can decide how you want the report to determine mastery. For more information on these methods, please see the article in the description below. In test settings, you will be able to set the defaults for allow partial score and show timer. Allowing partial score will give students half credit if they get half of a question correct. Show timer will work like a stopwatch that shows the students how long they're taking on an individual question so they can set their pace a little easier. Finally, the default performance bands profile and standards proficiency profile will allow you to choose the default grading guidelines for each type of test based on the guidelines you set previously. To change the defaults, simply click on the drop down menu and select the one you want. Remember, always click save when you're done. 
As an Edge Elastic Enterprise District Administrator, your own dedicated customer success manager that will be able to help you choose the settings needed for a successful implementation.